I meant what I said. I'm going home today and I'm taking Demarcus with me. Martine, you've been really kind, but honestly, you've got enough going on without Demarcus out staying as well. I know, but I want him to stay. I wasn't sure yesterday, but I've had time to think about it, and I, I want to keep my family together. And besides, he hasn't been any trouble. He's been in trouble ever since he got here. I skipped school and took a brooch that I paid for half of up front. There's hardly Grand Theft Auto, and he's been amazing at the garage. I brought my son here to kickstart his education, not to start greasing engines in some skanky garage. Oi! Felix works at that garage. Remotely? He will be here soon. Oh, come on, Martin. You can't really believe that. I do. And I know it for a fact. Yeah? Then where is he? Mum. Why isn't he here when his family needs his support? Viv, Felix is a good man. I am not having my son turn out like him. Just stop. Wait, Demarcus! Well done, ladies. Yeah. Let me guess. You're in hot water over that brooch. Cheers for snitching. Cheers for stealing from Miss Stall. I told you. I left you 15 and an IOU. Well, if it's only consolation, I'm not going to press charges. So, you want to talk? Still not picking up. Yeah, but he will soon. I just want what's best for him, you know? Good education, career, a decent start in life. But no matter how hard I try, and I have tried everything, I keep coming up short. My mum wants to take me back home. I mean, even though it's been crazy ever since I've been here, hanging out with my family has been cool. She's just Worried, I guess. Especially now that Dad's disappeared again. So you got no one in your corner? No one that gets you? My dad died before I was born. It messed me up. Made my mum overprotective. She was constantly worrying about me. I didn't help acting out. Getting in fights. Shoplifting. Point is, I turned my life around, made mum proud. If you want to stay here, you need to convince your mum that you're going to get your act together. She doesn't need to lose another minute's sleep worrying about you. Show her you can be a man and she'll treat you like one. You get me? If you ever need a mate, somewhere to just let off some steam, you know where I am, yeah? Demarcus is your boy, and I would never try to take your place. And you're right, I have been distracted with all the cancer stuff, but I am getting better every day, and, and I'm focused on my future with my family, and that includes Demarcus. We do have different parenting styles. <laughs> but if you want Demarcus to find himself and finish school, then I promise that I will care for him like he's my own. I know you will. I guess I'm just terrified to let go of my little boy. Of course you are. But if you want Demarcus to fly, then... The best thing that you can do is let him go. Love, where were you? I was talking with Nate. Look, Mum, I'm going to fix myself up. I promise. 
I want to stay. stay. Martin and I have been talking too. We both want the same thing. For you to be happy. Grow into the wonderful man we all know you can be. And even though it breaks my heart to leave you, this is the best place for you. So stay. Mom. But you have to walk me to the station. And you ring me every day, you hear me? Dill. You lot better take care of my boy, yeah? Of course we will. I promise. It's cause for a celebration, okay? Oh, any excuse. Our superiors are getting tired of the radio silence, Nate. We need to track down the source of those live streams on that website. Focus on the case. Screw the case. I'm getting closer to this family, which means I'm one step closer to finding out the truth. Nate. Someone I love is missing. And someone in that family knows what happened to her. I'm not stopping till I find out who. 